I don't. What do I do on this? Let me see. Uh, go get the horse stall mat. That one's held. That one's held. This one's gonna be fun. Let me just cut towards myself. So I cut. Oh my gosh! Ah! Okay, we survived the delivery of quite possibly the most amount of gym equipment, most expensive gym equipment, and heaviest amount of deliveries I've ever gotten. This is insane. New gym equipment's in. How much is that pallet? Did you say 1,500? Probably a little more, maybe. It's great, great where it is, right? Yeah, I like that. Yeah. That's great. I honestly don't know exactly what I bought. Basically, UConn, University of Connecticut, they were upgrading their gym equipment. Most of this stuff is practically new, but I don't know all there is. I do know we have a 1,945 pound plate of some sort of plates on here. This, I see some sort of maces. I see some dumbbells, some kettlebells. I really don't know what all is on this. I do know 1,765 pounds. And then we've got one more big boy cart that I couldn't get down the freaking runway here. And the guy was making fun of me. And it weighs 2,275 pounds. So all in all, let me just run the math real quick. I don't know, it's freaking heavy, you know? First, let's open this bad boy. I'm so pumped. I haven't seen pictures of these. I'm just kind of told like this is kind of what it'll be. So we can kind of see. Oh, <laughs> okay. There's just something about a Leco, you know? It's like the Ferrari. It would be the equivalent of a guy that likes cars, like unwrapping a new, you know, Ferrari or Lamborghini, Porsche. It's like a bunch of Christmas trees. IWF standard Aleco training plates with change plates. They're not even used. Look, it's just got some like dirt on it. Let's see if I can get these off. Oh, they got the wood dowel all the way through. Let's see if we can pull that out. Nope. Ooh, they've even got micro plates. I really want to see these other ones here. The five kilogram, so many five kilograms. That is so nice to have. <laughs> There's just something about Olivia. Just something about a let go. Shoop. This one, I want to see what's in here because I know this is kind of a conglomeration of all sorts of crap. There is one piece of equipment. Come in here. There's one piece of equipment I have always coveted i've always wanted but it was so expensive so unnecessary i now have them watson dumbbells with 50 millimeter spinning grips those that know know these are the best dumbbells in the world those that don't know will now know watch this that is ridiculous this is knurled and just spins so freely and it's fat. This is a 15, this would be close to the equivalent. Like, the compactness on this is ridiculous. You shouldn't like possessions this much. This is sinful. All right, I'm gonna put this back. I don't, what do I do on this? Let me see. Uh, go get the horse stall mat from 
That one's held. That one's held. This one's going to be fine. Let me just cut towards myself so I cut. Oh my gosh! Ah! All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. Ah! Ah! All right, there's obviously some kettlebells, some on it maces and Indian clubs. Uh, maces here. What is going on? This is, this is, this is too much. I'm gonna have a stroke. Shoop. Find the hole, find the hole, find the hole. Oh, there we go. All right, I don't know what's in here. Why does it be a big turd, just like an elephant turd? Just... It could be the mascot. It might have to be the husky mascot costume. <laughs> That'd be incredible. And it only weighs 2,227 pounds. All right, three, two, these screws are gonna fly off. My wife's gonna drive over and we're just gonna pop her car. One, kettlebells. These kettlebells are ductile iron. These are Sornex made in the USA, ductile iron kettlebells. These are really good kettlebells. You've seen some of it. Now we're gonna see all of it. We're gonna box it, put it in the gym, and we'll maybe talk about it some more. Let's do it. Okay, okay, close your eyes. Close your eyes. This is the reveal, the exciting part. We've got it all assembled. It's shiny. It's beautiful. It's way overpriced. Okay. Three, two, one. Ah! Am I floating? I feel like I'm floating. Okay. This is the most ridiculous gym equipment purchase I've ever made. I wanna make it very clear because anytime somebody buys nice stuff, people get pissed. I don't know why, just what happens. Number one, I paid for this with my dollars. Real dollars, real things. Number two, no, I'm not going to use all this. Number three, I recognize this is a stupid purchase for most people. This is ridiculous. It's like buying a really fast car or something like that. But I value training, I value the gym, and you know this is my job. So sometimes I'll do stuff like this. Lastly, I'm not gonna keep all this here. The dumbbells I will keep here because they're just like, there's something special about them. These, these have insane resale value, so if I ever get a pinch or anything, I can always sell them. But I have no need for this many plates. I don't need all these maces or all these plates or change plates or anything like that. But they're nice stuff, and so I wanted to get them. So. Let's kind of do a full tally. The most beautiful dumbbells ever created, the Watson dumbbells, with, by the way, the spinning 50 millimeter spinning handle that, again, like, just look at this. I mean, it's just like, you just want to sit here and do this stuff with it. Like, this is the most expensive shake weight in the world. All right. With the power lift rack, that's got the custom like coating on it. These shelves are just insanely stupid. Not because I know that because I assembled it, but because Sam assembled it and he told me. Um, <laughs> so we got that going for us. Full set of Sornex ductile iron made in the USA kettlebells all the way from, what are these, four kilograms up to 48 kilograms. So, you know, over a hundred pound in doubles. Uh, I've got a full set, multiple full sets of kettlebells already. I will probably sell these or move them to a buddy's house or something like that. Aleikos, six total sets of a full set of plates. And these are their training Sweden, you know, IWF training plates, incredible plates, super, you know, over the top. Just a whole lot of maces. You know, I have no need for, these are all like 15 10s and maybe fives, and there's just too many of these. I don't know what I'll do with these because people don't really buy these. They were just kind of included, and I was like, okay, I'll take them. Indian clubs, 10 pounds and 15 pounds. Again, I've got a full set of doubles already, up to 45s. I really have no need for those. I'll probably sell them or give them to somebody. And then this, this is probably one of the most ridiculous things in all this. If you've ever, like, everybody wants change plates. Having excess change plates is so nice because you can just stack them on as you're going heavier in weight. So 
not only do the plates have six total sets, but so do the change plates in every increment, all the way from half a kilogram, all the way up to five kilogram, which is right around probably 12 pounds, 11 pounds. Now I will say this, I'm gonna do individual reviews on each one of these, so if you'd like to see that, make sure you subscribe. The individual review for some of these will be pretty epic, like the dumbbells. Like there's just so much to talk about those and to compare them to. This is the setup. We'll show you more in the future, especially when we do a home gym walkthrough, because we got to do one. We haven't done one this year. This is Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you next time. <gasps> Peace.